It's four o'clock and you've had one of those days. You sit down for a cup of tea when you notice things are very quiet. Ordinarily, you'd be reveling in a few minutes of peace, but when you have toddlers, you know that quiet is never good. As you walk into the bathroom, you see the empty pill bottle and your daughter's smiling face tells you that those little white breath mints were delicious. You suddenly realize she's consumed half a bottle of painkillers. What do you do? Accidental poisoning is rarely fatal, but can cause long-term damage to some internal organs. Young children by nature are inquisitive and don't know the difference between what they can or can't eat and drink. Around 60% of all accidental poisonings occur in children younger than five, with boys, no surprise there, more prone to investigating than girls as they explore their environment, which is part of their normal natural development. And the point being is that accidental poisoning is common. And now is not the time to beat yourself up about not being a more careful parent uh, and about putting medications out of reach. You'll have plenty of time to do that once you know that your munchkin is okay. So first things first, don't wait for the symptoms to appear. Remove anything that's still in your child's mouth and then call the poisons control center on the number on your screen. Tell them exactly what your child has consumed. Provide information about your child's age and weight and any information you have about the pills or the poison, such as the amount consumed and how long it's been since your child was exposed to it. If possible, try to walk and talk on your way to the car. While some children may be okay with taking the odd panado, some aren't, and let's face it, when it comes to children, you can never be too careful. Take the pill container with you when you go. Unless you've been specifically instructed to do so, do not induce vomiting in your child. The latest recommendations advise that this can do more harm than good. After all, let the doctors be the bad cops rather than you. Whatever you do, stay calm and hurry along.